Today, we're gonna take a look at Sleep Most, a Minecraft plugin that greatly enhances the sleeping experience on your Minecraft server. This plugin has lots of cool stuff and customization, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you what it can do and how to set it up on your Minecraft server. Anyways, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video, also check if you're subscribed to the channel, as most people who watch my videos are actually not subscribed, even though it just takes a single click, two clicks if you also want to enable notifications, and with those two clicks you would help me out for a lifetime. And then, without any further ado, let's uh, dive right into this. So the first step is of course to get sleep most on your Minecraft server. The way to do that is go to the link in the description of this video. There will be a link to the sleep most picket page. From there you will be able to download the plugin, drag it into your plugins folder, restart your Minecraft server and you should be ready to go. Now after installing sleep most, the command you will use most frequently is slash sm. Just like that. This will show you all the sleep most commands. Now these first two commands are just for enabling and disabling sleep most in certain worlds. So for example, if I wouldn't want sleep most to be enabled in a creative world, for example, then you can disable it there and leave it enabled in your survival world. Then we got SM flags. So flags are probably one of the most important things. So by doing slash SM set flag, you will get a list of all the available flags. Now by just typing a wrong letter, for example A, you will get a full list here with all the possible flags. So we got allow kick, allow sleep commands, calculation methods, clock animation. There is lots of stuff to change here. So this way you can completely customize the sleeping on your Minecraft server. Now some things you might find important is for example exempt spectator. So players who are in spectator mode will not count for the sleeping. So normally by default every single player on the server will need to be in bed otherwise you can skip the night. With exempt spectator, spectators don't have to lay in their beds. Which is pretty logic if you think about it but by default that's not the case. Same thing goes for except creative. Players who are in creative will not count except flying so if you're actually flying you have an elytra you're flying over the world you can of course not lay in bed so by doing exempt flying players who are flying will not count also prevent phantom it will make it so that phantoms can't destroy you while you lay in bed. Then skip storm. Can you actually skip the storm by laying in bed? Maybe you don't want it on your server. Then you can disable that. Then you can also decide if AFK players should count for sleeping or not. And you can even change the percentage required. So this is something that was actually added in default Minecraft quite recently. In other words, what percentage of players needs to be in bed to be able to skip the night. Now this feature was actually implemented in sleep most before it was in default Minecraft. So props for that. Now that it is in default Minecraft, you don't need this plugin for this flag particularly, but still could be really, really handy to just manage all your sleep stuff on the server with a single plugin. Now something very cool is actually the night cycle animation. So let's do slash sm set flag and then we're gonna do the night cycle animation. We're gonna set it to true. There we go. So now what we can do is I can do time sets, uh, let's do 18,000, let's get a bet, let's go lay in the bed and then you can see that it will actually play a very cool animation, ooh look at that. And you will literally see yourself skipping through the night, how freaking cool. Now we also see something that says clock animation here. I actually don't know what this is, but I assume if I grab a clock, then do slash sm set flag, clock animation true, and then we go lay in bed. Ooh, it also has a great animation. That's so nice. But in other words, lots of very cool flags to check out. Make sure to check them out for yourself. Next we got SM info, show a list of all the flags set for your world. Then we got the version, then SM reset. So this will actually reset all the flags of your world to the default values. That is very, very handy. So if you freaked up, somehow, you can just set it all back to default and then just try again. Then with just a single command, you can enable one player sleeping. Enable one player sleep for the current world. That will make it so that any player can hop into their bed at night and it will skip the night. Now, if you do have a very small Minecraft server, then this might be useful. Though if you have a somewhat larger Minecraft server, it can get really, really frustrating if you want to do something at night and players keep constantly 
skipping it. In that case, I would actually recommend setting a sleep percentage instead of enabling one player sleeping. Now, if still you're having the problem that constantly players are skipping the night and there are some players on your server that actually want to do some stuff at night, then there's actually a very handy command. It is called SM Insomnia. Block sleeping for the current night. So as soon as it is night and you do slash SM insomnia just like that then by grabbing a bed and trying to laying it you will see you don't feel sleepy at the moment we actually can sleep not a single player will be able to sleep so the only way to end this night is by just waiting till it's morning so that's very handy to do once in a while just so the players who want to do some stuff at night can get their stuff done now one of the flags is also insomnia chance in other words every single night there is a chance of insomnia happening every single time it becomes night there's a chance players won't be able to sleep and that you will actually have to sit out your night you can set what the chance is with this flag so i'm gonna set it to 50 does that work invalid okay so to put it to 50% we can set it to 1.5 because that's half of 1. The insomnia chance flag value in your world is 0.5 meaning that every single night there's a 50% chance of players experiencing insomnia in other words being unable to skip the night by sleeping. I would say a very cool feature because this is something I've actually had troubles with in Starcraft SMP where some players just wanted to do some stuff at night but they were not able to because constantly players would keep skipping it then we got some other very simple commands for example smbat teleports to your current bed spawn point so i can do slash smbat and i will just teleport to the bed i was just in wow we also got sm reload that reloads the config then sm sleep that could actually be really really handy for example if you're a moderator but you're not just casually playing on the server you're actually doing some moderation work so let's say it's night trying to spot a griever for example and players want to skip the night but of course you will also have to lay in your bed otherwise the night will not be skipped well what you can do is just type slash sm sleep like that and it will act like you're sleeping Ooh, look at that animation that's so cool so it will put you to sleep status without actually having to lay in bed very handy now it's so nice that per world you can actually choose if this plugin is enabled or not and i mean you can see all the customization it is great there's so much you can do with it and even though it is just you know sleeping it's just sleeping it's just a very small portion of minecraft mostly a portion players find really annoying i mean let's be honest but sleep most really really enhances that experience it makes sleeping in your minecraft server in general a lot easier a lot nicer and it even has a very cool animation sleep most does also have a config file though it's not that interesting as all the stuff you can do in the config you can also just do in game basically setting all the flags i just showed you also very soon the creator of sleep most is actually going to release a very very cool update now i'm not going to tell you anything about it because i don't know if the creator of this plugin actually wants me to share it with you guys though i've spoken with the creator he's actually the one that reached out to me asking for me to check out his plugin i found it a great plugin which is why this video exists and if after this video you think to yourself i need this plugin on my server link will be in the description of this video and then that's it i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave a like it if you're new to the channel not subscribed yet and you did enjoy the content make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would really help me out by doing that you actually would and then i wish you an amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye bye